Hi, I'm Pete Wiversky, Managing Editor of Bay Area News Group East Bay, and welcome to Hometown Heroes, a program started in conjunction with our partner Comcast to introduce you to some outstanding community leaders. You'll get to meet these hometown heroes in stories in our East Bay publications and on TV on Comcast On Demand. Both Bay Area News Group East Bay and Comcast feel very strongly about our local communities. That's why we formulated this program, which we hope will raise the visibility of key causes, inspire you to maybe get involved, and also just generally foster a good feeling of giving back. I got involved with the East Oakland Youth Development Center about 25 years ago. Um, as a recent graduate from UC Berkeley, I uh, attended the Graduate Fellowship in Public Affairs uh, through the Coral Foundation, and they sent me on a business internship to the Clorox Company. There I found out that Clorox created the East Oakland Youth Development Center, and at that point uh, I got exposed to EOIDC, did a project here, and fell in love. From the moment that I set my eyes on the East Oakland Youth Development Center, I saw the transformative process of young people to leaders to employable citizens of the community. Um, there's nothing more exciting and enriching to see that each and every day you're having an impact on a child's life. And that's what keeps me here. We have had um, about 30,000 graduates of the East Oakland Youth Development Center programming over the last 30 years. And some of them have been um, your neighbors next door and some of them have been national and international names. We have prided ourselves on sending about 10 uh, young men to the NBA. Um, people like Gary Payton and Jason Kidd and more recently people like uh, Leon Poe. But in addition to that we have had actors and comedians like Mark Curry um, outstanding musicians like Dwayne Wiggins and Keisha Cole, and then we have a plethora of teachers, of nonprofit community workers, and of outstanding, dynamic young people who are just living day to day, making a positive contribution. Out of the programming that we offer here, young people can select physical development, which includes basketball, track and field, and martial arts, or the JOY program, which boasts job training and placement services, GED preparation, homework center and computer literacy, or the performing visual or culinary arts programs. I mean, we've got everything under one roof and all for free. The programs were created um, directly to address issues within the community. So job training and placement um, was created to address the high unemployment rate. The GED preparation program was designed to deal with the dropout rate in the nearest high schools. With physical development, all too often our young people don't get enough of it. And it's an area where everyone can kind of come together. You can meet people from other communities or be there with your best friends. So it's all a part of trying to fulfill each day uh, an opportunity to enrich lives. As the executive director of an outstanding nonprofit organization, I wear a lot of hats. Um, I'm supported by a really outstanding staff, uh, but again, the challenges are many. Um, fundraising, although we have an outstanding program, is still a very difficult thing to do. Continuing to inspire and motivate my staff to deal with the challenges day in and day out can be um, tiring. Um, keeping the facility in good shape when you don't have a lot of capital dollars is a challenge. What we do is very much needed and is turning out results, successful results each day. So over the next five and ten years we intend to continue our quality programming hopefully reaching further and deeper and enjoying more and more of those successes. You have to build young people up in order to give them the tools and the skills to allow them to succeed.